Jason Kulik.Asia just did a video. Well, he actually did it last Wednesday. I just found it today, tonight, this morning, whatever it is. About how easy it is to take for granted the rights that we have as opposed to the rights that we don't have. And it put me in mind to um, when I was young watching the civil rights movement. I lived in Los Angeles, I do now, and I did then. <clears throat> and so <clears throat> our exposure to the civil rights movement and the Watts riots and stuff like that was pretty distant. But later in my life, you know, I saw the laws change and I saw black people starting to get to vote and that sort of thing. But I lived in L.A., so I didn't see a lot of prejudice and stuff. We just didn't see it. But then later in my life, I saw the um, women's rights movement crash and burn. A lot of rights have been changed. Women have a lot that we didn't have 30, 40 years ago. No question about it. We still don't have the ERA, the Equal Rights Amendment, 40 years later. Why? It's crazy. Men are still making decisions for us about what we can do with our bodies and what we can't do. Stephen Colbert made a joke about, well, it's between a woman's husband and her priest. I said, what? Yeah, I know it was a joke, but... No. You know, there are groups out there now who are trying to outlaw birth control. I know there's people who are against abortion, and shoot, nobody's really for abortion. Most of us are for a right to choose, but not for abortion itself. We prefer to prevent it, and now there's people who want to prevent birth control. <laughs> so yeah, I understand the frustration that people have wanting to get married, and such a simple thing that hurts nobody and there's such a big battle that comes from religious groups when it's we're talking about civil laws nobody's talking about making laws insisting that any church do anything it's about allowing things under our constitution equal rights it just doesn't seem that hard Yet, there are people frightened to death that the couple next door might have the right to help each other through death, to inherit a home, to visit in the ICU, basic, simple things, to just hold hands in public and say, I do, and talk about your spouse, and it's beyond me. I don't know.